In this video, we are going to look at the concept of polygons for mass exam. After going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve any problem involving polygons for mass exam. So ensure you stay to the very end of this video. Polygons, very, very important. All right, as usual, I will give you guys the practice mass question at the end of the video test your knowledge on this. All right, so having known that, let's go into the details of the video. Let me bring out this diagram. I have so I, I'll use it to explain types of polygons we have. Okay, so okay guys, so these are typical types of polygons we have. But first let's know what's a polygon, right? Now a polygon is simply a many sided shape and can be regular or irregular. Now a regular polygon is one where all the sides and angles are the same, all right. In an irregular polygon, the size and angles are different. So these examples we have here are considered regular polygons. They are all regular polygons. All right. Remember that in regular polygons, all the size and angles are the same. Just like here, the size and angles here are what the same. So the first example we have here is what triangle. All right. So the size and angles here are the same. The next polygon we have is quadrilateral. All right, so this is a square, a regular quadrilateral, but sided shape. The size and angles are the same. This is a three-sided shape. Okay, now this is pentagon, a five-sided shape of polygon. Okay, so the angles and size are the same. This is hexagon, a six-sided or shape of polygon. The sides and angles are the same. We have heptagon, a seven-sided shape of polygon. We have octagon, an eight-sided shape of polygon. We have monagon, a nine-sided shape of polygon. We have decagon, a ten-sided shape of polygon. All right. So having taken note of what we have here, let's look at the concept behind exterior and interior angle. All right. So that's basically where you see problems or uh, the mass involving polygon right it's important to know how to deal with problems involving interior and exterior angles of the polygon okay so let's wipe this now I'll remove this diagram and look at how to deal with problems on such concepts okay now we are now looking at the concept of interior and exterior polygons and exterior polygons okay now note that some of exterior angle equals or angles equals 360 degrees all right there are some of interior angles equals n minus 2 okay times 180 degrees all right we are our n is the number of sides okay now note again that for a stereo angle this is my one now not some for a stereo angle We have it to be 360 degrees over n. All right, we want to find number of sides. You use this formula for exterior angles. Well, for interior angles, interior angles, we use 180 degrees minus exterior angle. Okay, so. Take note of these formulas, guys. Very, very important. All right, because we are going to go into solving problems with this now. All right, so let's wipe this. I'm not going to take a problem on this and apply these formulas to it. Okay, okay, guys. Now let's start this problem. It says the interior angle of a polygon is 165 degree. How many sides does the polygon have? Remember, we're not asked some. All right, so we're not use this formula for some, which is n minus 2 all right times 180 degrees all right so this is one we are not asked some we ask the interior angle of the polygon 
All right, so that means we're going to use this formula to read interior angle equals 180 degrees minus the exterior. Okay, so for this formula we have now, we're going to use it to find the interior angle first. So the interior angle in this question will give me 165 degrees equals 180 degrees now minus let's represent a steel angle with E. Now to make this a steel angle, the change of solid formula. This 180 degree cross over the equality sign change negative. We're going to have 165 degree minus 180 degrees equals was minus E, which is a steel angle. Alright, so we need the mass, we punch in a calculator, we're going to have minus 15 degree plus minus E. Right both side by coefficient of minus e equal to minus 1. All right, so this final count this final is here, and this final count this final is here. That means our steel angle will now be what 15 degrees. All right, remember, also find how many sides does the polygon have. To get the how many sides now, we're going to apply this formula for a steel angle. So we have a steel angle. This is a steel angle to be 360 degree over n. So this n will be our 15. All right, so when you plug in 15, for this n, we're going to have 360 degrees over 15. Alright, so when you punch it on a calculator, you are going to have it to be what? 24. That means we have 24 sides. Alright, that means the polygon we have 24 sides. Alright, so it's as simple as that. So this is interesting. Now let me give you guys a part mass with the longer polygon to solve. And after you can call it a class. Alright, let's write this. Okay, guys, now look at this problem. It says, find the size of the interior angle of regular decagon. Now, feel free to pause this video and, and see if you can attempt this. Let me give you a hint. A decagon is a 10 sided polygon. All right, so use this hint and figure this out. Okay, let's do it together. We are going to apply this from the interior angle equals 180 degree minus exterior angle all right now in this question we are dealing with 10 sided polygon which is thicker gun all right let's find the exterior angle the exterior angle let me use e is found using 360 degree over n and our n the number of side is 10 sided polygon so this is going to give us 360 degrees over 10 you give us what 36 now the Number of sides is what 36. So from this exterior angle we have found, we plug it here in this formula. That means the interior angle will now be interior angle will now be 180 degrees minus 36. All right, which will give us what? When you punch it on the calculator, we're going to have 144 degrees. So this will be the side of the interior angle. It's as simple as that, guys. Alright, so this is basically you can solve problems involving polygons for mass exam. Hope you something interesting from the video. If you are new to the channel, ensure you check the description of this video below to find link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join our Telegram channel for instant notification. Also, ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, comment on this video. Tell me how you feel for what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding polygons, feel free to give a question. The comment section below and i will be sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys click on the end screen above and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching